Okay, here we are in Minecraft uh, Education Edition, and we're going to um, get a world from our Minecraft Education Edition application, export it, and that way we can play it on um, a desktop version if we like. So I'm going to hit the play button in the center of the screen here. That'll take us to our world. Uh, you'll see I've already created a world. If you want to create a new world, you can just go to create world. Um, but instead of clicking on the world, I'm actually going to click on the edit button to the right of the world here. It has like a pencil icon. When I select that, it gives me lots of options on the left. I'm going to make sure I'm under edit settings um, and then game. And on the right here, it gives me the name of the world, uh, default mode and stuff. I'm just going to scroll to the bottom. And you'll notice that there is an export world button towards the bottom center of the screen at the moment. So when I hit export world, what it does is it brings up the sharing icon from my iOS app. Now there's lots of different ways I can send it. I can text it apparently to someone. I could um, email it, which is probably a decent way. The texting one won't, probably won't work super well unless they have Minecraft EDU on their um, on their device. Uh, I'm going to copy to my drive. And essentially I'm going to send this world to... Um, my cloud account and then on the desktop version I'm going to download it from that same cloud account so I'm going to hit copy to drive here so it's going to make a copy in my Google Drive so see it sends me to my account yeah this is the one I want to save it into and you'll notice here it's saved it was very quickly done if I scroll down here we go there's Mike's world so it's now been saved 